Hello everyone, this is Mace Windows and welcome to the first episode of my world building series. Here I will be posting updates on a little passion project of mine, a world set in a fantasy universe that I've been developing for a long time now. The goal of this series is to really just share the thing I like and maybe even inspire some of you to pick up world building. This episode I want to dedicate to describing the history and inspirations behind the project. As a kid, I always liked drawing maps, and while I wasn't particularly good at it, that didn't stop me much. As a kid, I also really liked reading, and one of my most favorite authors and inspirations was, and still is, the Professor Tolkien. In my personal opinion, the world of Arda is the best and the most comprehensive of settings there are. I am fanboying, of course, but Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, Silmarillion, and History of the Middle-earth are pretty much the holy bible of all fantasy. As much as I'd love to keep going on about how great these books are and how Fano did nothing wrong, this isn't what this video is about. Coming back to the matter at hand, if we combine my love of maps and fantasy, it becomes pretty clear that sooner or later I would have gotten a genius idea of making a fantasy map. And so I did. At the age of about 12 years old, I doodled a map with a pen and then for some reason I decided that it was a good idea to outline all the borders with gouache paint. And it ended up looking something like this. While this map wasn't very good, it was good enough and so I started planning. I decided that all the cool people live here, people that are less cool live here, powerful wizards live on a huge mountain here, and these two islands suck and you should probably never go there. After that, I gave lots of places on the map some gibberish names and drew a few towers and tents. Having established all the basics, I then did the most sensible thing anyone could do. I shoved them up in my drawer and forgot about it. Skip some time and now I'm 16 and I'm huge into D&D. It just so happens that I find the map from before in my drawer and I think to myself, hey, apart from looking absolutely horrible, this is actually pretty cool and so I redrew the whole thing and made it look less horrible and was pretty happy with it. In fact, I liked the new map so much that I went on and made a rough sketch of the island of all the cool people from before. I then went on even further and made even more sketches of small villages around the island with small descriptions of what these villages are. At that point it was already too late to stop me and so after making the villages I went on and created a separate list of all the important villages of each village and even some of the higher ups of the main city. Pretty extensive, huh? I think at the time I was planning on running game of D&D there and that's why I've developed this island in such great detail. The D&D thing never happened and so the project was eventually abandoned. Except it wasn't. You see, I'm cool. And what do all cool kids do? Correct, we play Minecraft. I bet you didn't expect that in a world building video, but at this point Minecraft is so big it's pretty much everywhere anyways. The platform you're watching this video on wouldn't be as big as it is without it. So how does Minecraft of all things come into play? As videos I feel saying that Minecraft is a great tool for visualizing stuff and being able to show your builds with your friends on the server is very motivational. I am skipping several years of my experience of building, but the final product that came out of all of that is this. This is a mountain citadel of Hell Doom, which is a home for a race of dwarves that play one of, if not the most important role in the current history of my fantasy world. So I just took my build and its law and shoved it in the fantasy world that I oh so conveniently already had. I guess I just like combining my hobbies into something bigger. The Minecraft project was sadly discontinued and I still hope to one day come back and continue working on it, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. However, creating that gave me the motivation to take up world building and continue developing this fantasy world of mine. About a year ago I found out about this program called Wonderdraft that is pretty good for making fantasy maps, which is precisely what I've been doing. I went and remade the map from before in digital form and for the past year I've been slowly improving it. And that is pretty much how this whole thing came about. I thought that sharing this and hopefully getting some feedback would give me the motivation to keep going and so that's what I'm doing here. 
Thank you so much for watching this, I really hope you've enjoyed this as much as I did. I'm new to doing this type of videos, so feel free to share your opinion or leave some suggestions in the comment section. Next episode I'm going to focus on describing the basics of how this world functions and what races inhabit it. I'm not sure how often I'll be posting this, since life stuff just loves getting in the way of my hobbies, but such is life. Thank you again for watching this episode, and I see you in the next one.